Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Max. Hello, everybody. This is Cecilia. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hey, Cecilia. Do you know who Elliot Page is? Sounds familiar. Do you remember the precious pregnant teacher in Juno? Have you ever seen this film, Juno? No, I don't remember watching that film. Ah,、oh, she is the girl who constructs dreamscapes in Inception. Does that ring a bell? Oh yeah, now I remember. 盗墓空间里面的那个筑梦师，对吧？嗯，我当时可喜欢他了。这个 dreamscapes 就是指这种梦中的景象，或者说幻景。那看过《盗梦空间》的同学，应该都会对这个词有特别深刻的印象哈。So that film did ring a bell. 嗯，刚刚 Max 在提醒我讲这个短语哈 ，ring a bell 在这里表示引起共鸣，使人想起某事，常常用在听起来熟悉但是回忆不起具体细节的时候。其实很好理解啊，当你突然听到一个很熟悉的名字的时候，你是不是觉得就好像有一个小铃铛在你的脑袋里叮铃铃响了一声啊？所以这个 ring a bell 就非常的形象了。Mm, you did a good job. <laughs> so, what's your impression of Elliot Page? Hmm. As I said, I like her acting in Inception. I think she is pretty, and I have this vague impression that she is lesbian, right? Well, you must have not paid much attention to his news for a while. His? What do you mean? Well, she used to be a she, but now she is a he. So he is now a he. What are you talking about? 好吧，那我们待会儿就来听 Max 给大家解释一下啊。So in 2014, Paige came out as gay, despite feeling for years that being out was impossible, given his career. So what we should note here is that gender identity and sexual orientation are distinct, of course, but one queer identity can coexist with another. 其实这两个概念经常会被混淆啊。一个人的性别认同和他的性取向是两回事来的。像我们说的，跨性别者是对自身的性别认同层面的，而同性恋呢是性取向层面的。那性别认同我们叫做 gender identity， 性取向叫做 sexual orientation。In an emotional speech at a human rights campaign conference, Page talked about being part of an industry that places crushing standards on actors and viewers alike. 对他从事的行业呢，肯定会把很多条条框框和压力强加在他的身上。You know, I do remember the actor started wearing suits on the red carpet, and he made a masculine wardrobe a condition of taking roles. So that must be after he came out. But、uh, since he chose to change his gender to male, eventually, I guess the daily discord was still unbearable.、Mm. Although the difference between how she felt before coming out as gay to after was massive. The discomfort in his body never went away. Is it possible that the isolation forced by the pandemic brought to a head Paige's wrestling with gender? Because you know he had a lot of time on his own to really focus on things that he used to be avoiding. 我觉得这个疫情啊，也有可能是很重要的一个原因，因为他一下子多了很多的时间去思考自身的这些事情。那他想要结束这种挣扎的愿望也就变得更为迫切了。那 bring something to a head 就是指使问题尖锐化，或者使某事到了紧要的关头。Well, that sounds like a reasonable explanation. Eventually, shame and discomfort gave way to revelation. Yeah, it's good that he was finally able to embrace being transgender and letting herself fully become who he is. Yeah. So this led to a series of decisions. One was asking the world to call him by a different name, Elliot. Which he says he's always liked. Well, a new name could be a new start. Yeah, and another decision was to get top surgery. Top surgery refers to the surgical procedures on the breast or of transgender patients. And this top surgery 就是指为了和性别匹配而切掉乳房或者说隆胸的性别确认手术 Yeah, I remember when he posted his disclosure on Instagram. People were shocked.、Mm, like many trans people. Page emphasizes being trans isn't all about surgery. For some people, it's unnecessary. For others, it's unaffordable. Right, and I think that for the wider world, the media's focus on it could sensationalize transgender bodies, inviting invasive and inappropriate questions. 我觉得过分关注这些手术，其实有一点故意炒作跨性别者身体的嫌疑哈。这个 sensationalize 就是指故作耸人听闻的。
夸张某事，或者说大肆渲染某事。Right to exaggerate a story so that it seems more exciting or shocking than it really is. But Page describes surgery as something that, for him, has made it possible to finally recognize himself when he looks in the mirror, providing catharsis he's been waiting for since the total hell of puberty. 嗯，这个 catharsis 就是指精神发泄，或者说情感宣泄。也就是说，通过改变自己的身体，他能够把青春期以来的痛苦都宣泄出来了。Since so much of his energy was spent on being uncomfortable in his body, fortunately now he has that energy back. It has completely transformed his life. So, what will it mean for his career? Well, Page has appeared in many projects. He also faced challenges landing female leads. Oh, of course, because he didn't fit Hollywood's narrow mold. Yeah, since his Instagram post, his team is seeing more activity than they have in years. Many of the offers coming in are trans-related, but there are also some dude roles. Oh, that's good. I always thought trans actors would really be considered for cisgender parts. A Max, 你有没有觉得好像这些年我们看到了更多是由这种男性转为女性的名人，而像 Paige 这种女性转变为男性的就会比较少一些。Yeah, while the visibility gap means that trans men have been spared some of the hate endured by trans women, it has also meant that people like Paige have had fewer models. And when there aren't examples, people make monsters of them. For decades, that was something Hollywood did, as detailed in the 2020 Netflix documentary Disclosure. Transgender people have been portrayed on screen as villainous and deceitful, tragic subplots of or the butt of jokes. 过去的好莱坞影视作品当中，这种跨性别者的角色总是非常负面的。Today there are many out trans actors, directors, and producers. Storylines involving trans people are more common and more respectful. Yeah, and sometimes that aspect of identity is even incidental rather than the crux of a morality tale. 我觉得更重要的是啊，现在越来越多的作品在塑造一个角色的时候呢，只是非常自然的带过他的性别认同。而不是把它当做这个人物的关键特质来大肆的发挥哈，我觉得这个是很好的一个转变。Yeah, and yet Hollywood can still seem a frightening place for LGBTQ people to come out. But whatever changes might lie ahead, Page seems exuberant about playing a new spectrum of roles. 是的，那也祝福他能够以真实的自我面貌，在他的事业和他的生活当中焕发出新的光彩。好了，这期节目就先到这里。So thank you so much for listening. This is Max. This is Cecilia. See you next time. Bye. Bye. This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来早安英文。